We've just seen that painting of the ship exploding. And now we're next door, the gallery, with these two marvellous pen paintings. Do go and stand right up close so you can see what a sea battle really involved. And just look at those, those sails. <laughs> they look almost moth-eaten from the cannonballs that were shot through them. And further along here, you see everything to do with the United East India Company, the VOC. What they took with them and what their trading posts abroad were like. And you can see people in exotic locations, dressed in Dutch clothes. And the crib here, for instance, made of ebony. Ebony wasn't known in the Netherlands then. So you can see the influence the East India Company had on Dutch life. Winning all those wars meant, of course, that the Dutch became very powerful. And so they started importing things from abroad. Let's now walk through to the next gallery. And here on the right, you see a painting that's very interesting. It's called <laughs> Fishing for Souls. And it shows how both the Protestants on the left, the people dressed in black, and the Catholics on the right are trying to win over souls. What it's saying is that even though the Dutch were rich, and even though they had conquered the Seven Seas, the country had major domestic problems, because year in, year out, was fierce quarreling between the Catholics and the Protestants, between the moderates and the Orthodox, and between the supporters of the Stadtholder and the Republicans. And that's what this painting is about. This is another painting that I think you need to take your time with, you know, because there's so much detail. All right, I'll see you by the doll's houses in a moment.